Welcome back, Quill Pack, to another quick team tutorial. Um, I'm going to be combining two videos into one. I'll be doing the iOS exporter and the Mac exporter. So, more than likely, there will not be a video next Friday. And I'm sorry, but um, it, it doesn't make sense to have two separate videos if it's the same process. Now, I won't be able to open up Xcode or anything and show you how to do that aspect of it, but I can show you how to export your applications for iOS and for macOS. I, I'm... Apple illiterate, to be honest, and um, I'm not sure how to set up, the, or I know how to use OBS, but as far as, like, setting it up and things of that nature, it's, it's going to take me a long time to figure that out, and to me, it's not worth it at this point. I will probably update the video later, um, especially if I can get a better workspace, so it will be easier, because right now I'm using a small computer table with two a wireless keyboard and mouse and then a wired keyboard and mouse and I only have one monitor. Anyway. Um first thing first, let's go over the three different file types, just there are three. For both Mac OS and iOS, there is the application, the uh CCI for iOS and CCM for Mac. Um those are for updates, so if you put an update out for your application and you don't want to export the whole zip file you can just export that CCI or that CCM um, alternatively you can just export the whole zip file which is what I do there is the Xcode or iOS Xcode project for in development um, while you're developing and then there's the Xcode there's the final Xcode project and that's what you'll use to export your application for the uh, iOS store or the App Store. And then the same thing up here, there's Xcode project for Mac, and then there's just the application, which um, makes the Mac application of your game. Um, a couple differences is for iOS applications to get that API, you will need to sign it in order to distribute it. Um, whereas Mac, you don't have to sign it if you're going to put it up on somewhere like GameJolt or itch.io. Um, sign it makes it easier to use for the end user especially due to Apple security but it's not a requirement for Mac OS so in order to sign your applications you have to have an Apple developer program um, you have to enroll in the Apple developer program it's $100 a year um, it, gives, it gives you everything that you'll need and you can read more information about it I'll link it down in the description below but it is something you need, especially for iOS. As Like I said, you don't have to sign your Mac OS, but it will make it easier in the long run for distribution, especially if you want to distribute distribute, distribute it on the um, App Store, the Apple App Store. Um, just a few other things. You have window size. Everything's normal, just like with any other exporter or any other game. Um... You have your Apple settings, and this is where it, it's similar to uh, Android, where you have to have your uh, location, your bundle identifier. Uh, you can see it's set to default com.clickteam.runtime. It's the same format as Android, so for me it will be net.coolstudio.mygame. Um, you have your bundle version, which is your updated version, or your version, your game version so it's default to one but if you were to add a patch to it you'll put that at 1.1 or if you were to add um, like a new game mode you'll put it at 2.0 you can change your targeted devices which is useful um, since iPhone and iPads have different aspect ratios iPhones are 16.9 I believe and iPads are 4.3 so it's gonna look different um, let's see you have your app your icons which you would have to edit yourself your launch icon, which that is the default icon uh, from QuickSeam. It's formatted differently for iOS. You have your launch image. Um, your iTunes artwork. This is what's going to show up in iTunes if you go to uh, transport applications or just show up in your list. You have your App Store icon. Um, and I think that's everything. Oops. As far as icon goes, you have your uh, screen orientations. So 
for something like this, it would be in landscape, left, right, or automatic. Um, the automatic options means if you were to flip your phone around, the application actually flips around with your phone to correspond with the new um, screen orientation that you have. So say you have your phone turned sideways with the buttons, the lock and volume buttons face down if you were to turn it. So the lock and volume buttons will be face up. The application will actually rotate to accommodate for that. And I think that's it for this tab. These are just a lot of things you have to change. They do have iPhone X images. Uh, same thing for the Mac OS. You have the same options. Oh, let's go to Xcode project. You have your company. Again, for me, it will be uh, net.quostudio.mygame. You have your bundle version. Um, the reason to have three, if you don't understand how, ver how versions work, you have your... Uh, version major and minor so this last number would be for patches so if you were to fix your bugs or something like that major updates um, say there was a game breaking bug or something like that that's when you'll change that um, I know for my game Brotastic I had minor updates where the little things like the um, jumping wouldn't work or sorry, little things like I had something um, offset where it shouldn't be, so it was making the scrolling look weird, so I did minor updates. Then I did, um, or sorry, patch updates. The That will be this one, this last number. That will be a patch update. Then you have your minor updates. So say you add like a new character or something. Uh, similar to Overwatch, how they add characters, there'll be a minor update. But if you were to add like a new game mode or you were to change um, graphic styles or something like that, there'll be a major update. Again, you have your icon. You have your icons. Uh, sizes are predetermined, so you can't change those, but you have four of them. And I think that's it for Mac OS. Uh, you have this information. Um, application name, your icon, which you have a lot of those to fill in. But these would be, um, this transfers over. So if you do it for one, this is automatically filled in for all. Uh, your author, author, which would be your company. Uh, copyright will be your company's copyright. Diversion number, company description, things of that nature. Um, you have to have a build, a build file for both, which is just directing you to where the zip folder will be located. Um, Mac OS and iOS both create zip folders, which you will move over to your Mac. You have to have a Mac in order to make uh, iOS and Mac OS games with Click Team, because you need to use Xcode, which is a Mac OS software only. When you do export it, you move the zip file over to your Mac, and I'm sorry I can't get this on video, like I said, I don't understand Mac. Personally, I've always used Windows, Windows, and I've only got a Mac to make Mac games, so I really haven't explored it. But you'll move your zip file over, you'll double click it, and that will extract. Okay, so when you do export your games, you'll create, it'll create the zip folder, and once you export it, um, you'll get these different folders under, or over on your Mac, you'll double click on this project, folder, or Xcode project, uh, it'll be whatever the name of your app is, and then .xcode project. This is the Mac version, um, it'll, it'll be the same way for iOS as well, or, sorry, I say Mac version. This is for the Mac exporter, that's what I just made an export of. It'll be the same thing for iOS, you'll have that Xcode project, you'll double click that. Over on Xcode, you have some information that you have to set up, such as, um, your developer account, you have to link that and you have to make sure that it's signed under your develop developer account. In order to actually test, um, all your devices have to be under that same email address. So for me, it's my business email address. It's uh, mrogers at quostudio.net. So my iPhone and my Mac also have to be signed in under that uh, Apple ID. Otherwise, you'll run into issues about signing, which you'll have to approve of, and that's really a long process you don't really need uh, if you want to test on other people's devices you can use test flight 
and send them an invite. They'll download it. It's way smoother than trying to um, install on individual devices. And a little bit about Xcode. It it's for beta testing. It's good as far as um, distribution goes, but the betas last. I want to say 90 days, which is plenty of time to test it. Um, and if you're updating frequently, then that doesn't even matter. Like I get daily updates for Discord because I am uh, a beta tester for Discord. Or I have Discord Canary on my iPhone. After you get over to Xcode, Xcode, I will try to post a screenshot or insert a screenshot or something of Xcode. Um, there are certain things that you have to update, like I said. One is being your developer account. Just make sure everything looks decent, which is kind of hard. <laughs> it's, it's hard to explain since I don't actually have Xcode pulled up, and I'm sorry for that. Um, you'll run the project. There's a play button in Xcode. It'll run it if you have an iPhone connected to your Mac. It'll run on the iPhone um, if you're making an iOS application. If you're making a Mac OS, it'll just run the game. It'll throw you errors. Um, I know I've had troubles with Ad or AdMob. I was going to say Ad since I've had troubles with AdMob. I'm going to try to figure that out. But I tried to put ads on my game, Brotastic, so it'll be free for the App Store. wasn't working. I had to make it a paid application because, yeah. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, when you are in these uh, two different exporters, it's automatically going to block out things that you can't use. For example, Firefly is PC only for Windows only. So if I'm making a export, or sorry, if I'm making a Mac OS or an iOS game, it's not going to allow me to use Xcode. Or sorry, it's not going to allow me to use Firefly objects. For Mac, these are all the objects that you can use. And I think I have a lot of the stuff from the extension manager already installed on this PC. There we go. If you go into the extension manager, let's see. You'll see what can be used for macOS. It has this little icon right next to the Windows. Same thing for iOS. It has an icon stating if you can use it. Um, I have quite a few things that I don't have. These are all things that are external or for an exporter I don't have. Like these are Flash extensions. I don't have the Flash exporter. Uh, external things that you have to purchase, the Google achievements and all that, are on the Click Store. And little things like that. <coughs> Be quiet, Randy. Yeah, so that'll be it for today's video. Um, like, again, sorry that I do not have Xcode or a recording of Xcode. Um, I do have the Mac version, so maybe I can record everything on the Mac. Um, I can figure out that what I can use for Mac. Like I said, my software, Flashback, isn't for Mac. It's Windows-only software. Um, I've heard people use OBS, so I'll look into that. And I'll just record everything on the Mac. That way I don't have to fiddle with two different softwares to try to splice the video or anything. And I will, prob I will hopefully get that to you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.